the next. Your spirit is always seeking to know God at more intimate levels. The moment you are grasping one revelation, before you can say, you know, this, this temptation to always run and, and go and shout and go and talk, there is a way your spirit will be bombarded with so much light. Eh? Your mouth cannot explain the things. You will open your mouth and the first thing you will cry for is utterance because your, your level of understanding, your, your, you don't have language to explain it the way you understand it inside. This is why even the great apostle says, let them pray for him that God will give him utterance because the matters that he has come into, into intimate knowledge of, there are no vocabularies to explain it. Sometimes we get to places of revelatory depth in God that the only way you can transfer the things you have is through chants and tongues. You will teach to an extent and you will trust the Holy Ghost that when we begin to engage corridors of chants and tonguing inside that prayer, some people will start picking it the way it was given to you because it is only he that revealed it to you that can bring them into that kind of knowledge. It is when we can begin to communicate beyond words. You know, it's not every communication that should be vocal. There are non-verbal communications. Only spirits do these ones. If God grants you the privilege to have encounters regularly, by now you should have known that when spirits want to reveal deep matters to you, they don't talk. Sometimes a spirit is looking at you and understanding will enter your heart. They can compress a conversation of, of five hours into one minute because they use another means of communicating it. You don't, need, you don't need to use words all the time. It's like a man and his wife. Because they have spent so many years living together. Now, he doesn't need to say some things. Once two of them look, a visitor can be sitting. A man and his wife, they will talk with their eye. And the visitor will not know that conversations have been held. Because intimacy affords you capacity to have other means of communication. You are not intimate with God yet if you cannot even pick his voice. If you cannot secure his voice per time. Meanwhile, the voice of God is just one of the tokens of the presence of God. There are many tokens in his presence. I have heard of you by the hearing of the ear. I thank God for everybody who have taught me about you so far. But now, my eye have seen you. My eye have seen now the things I'm about to commit to another generation. Now the things I'm about to reveal are the things I have seen, the things my hand has handled of the word of truth. These are the things I am committing now because it is allowed that there will be errors, there will be faces, chapters of your life. It is permitted that all you know about God should be by the tutelage of another, but a period will come. You cannot ride on the knowledge that you receive from another. It must be intimately connected knowledge. Things you know by revelation. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow.